Hello, this is Jesh Atman from Africa at Mysore. Today I am dealing with the topic of Mercury, charity and remedial measures, both scientific, I am including both charity and remedial measures along with uh, uh, some of the, you know, significations and their transformations when Mercury becomes weak. Here we are talking about a weak or badly positive mercury only. Only then we will be talking about what to do, what sort of charity to do and what sort of remedial measures to be taken. So what happens when mercury is placed in the first and the twelfth has been listed out and I have given you very little that is the main points only, the two, one or two only because I can't uh, uh, go through the whole detail it takes uh, uh, hours together, but still, I uh, have taken some main points which we will deal with. When Mercury is affected, placed in the first house, that is the brain. You know, usually when, when I describe, I describe the first house as the crown, the crown of the head, the second house as the face, third house as the neck and the nape, you know, and the fourth house comes to the chest. The third house also includes the arms. So like this, the body has been defined into the 12 houses. It has been you know, clearly defined. So there are many other things which we have to do in detail. Once we go into the Drakkana, in the advanced classes, we can go into medical astrology and understand uh, you know, each and every organ and how it is placed in the horoscope. But here, the brain, the first house is the brain. It affects the brain because Mercury means Buddha, Buddha Buddhi, intellect. The intellect of a person gets affected when Mercury is badly posited. We are talking about a weak or afflicted Mercury only. We are not talking about a well-placed Mercury. If a well-placed Mercury is there in the Lagna, what else is required? He becomes a bright, inspirational, strong, uh, very nice uh, uh, person with regard to how he studies, goes abroad, does things, or he becomes a teacher, becomes a faculty, goes abroad in the sense that he roams the world, he is a known personality. Mercury in the Lagna gains a lot of strength if it is well placed. But if it is badly placed, it gets it very bad. Why? Because it affects the brain, makes the person slow learning. So we usually call this in medical terms as retardation or a retarded kind of a person. ADHD, nowadays people know what is ADHD, you know, attention deficiency or hyperactivity disorder. So and many other things like seizures, like epilepsy, many things can happen when mercury is badly afflicted in the first house. So, as a charity, we should give donations to uh, children, uh, you know, the societies which take care of children who are spastic, who are retarded, you know, people, uh, children who cannot take care of themselves because they have motor nerve difficulties, problems of the motor nerves. If you should understand that children with spasticity doesn't mean that they are you know, any way different from me or you. They are actually having better knowledge. Very intelligent children. But the problem is that their motor nerves are, you know, totally haywire. They are, you know, it's, uh, it's wrong connections, giving a lot of problems. They cannot control their uh, body movements and that's why they have difficulty in progressing in life. But that doesn't mean that their mental faculties are weak. They are very strong. But still, a weak or an afflicted mercury in the first house might give spasticity, might give epilepsy, seizures, which might actually decrease the uh, strength of the main brain to retain memory, you know, to give, you know, what we call as the fetch cycle. You know, when, when we give a, when, when somebody is asking a question to somebody, so when a question is posed, you, you know the answer, then you go into your, you know, your voluntarily, you don't do it, but it happens that you go fetch the answer from the brain's memory and bring it forward and then tell it. So this happens in seconds, but 
for some people it takes minutes or hours or days so these people have difficulty so please give charity to that those organizations like where people have got afflicted due to a weak mercury or a mercury which has hit mercury does not mean that you have to only donate to children only you know it's mercury is a young planet but still you do not have to do only for young people you can also give it to people who are going through alzheimers you can give it to people who are going to dementia they are going through schizophrenia parkinsons so people who are suffering from all these mental diseases will have problems related to mercury ketu saturn retro you know moon mercury saturn moon mercury rahu different types of combinations so let us donate here as a remedy if anybody in the house uh, we have a child who is having a, a hit uh, you know first house where there is mercury badly posited we should you know take this up in early days you know we should take it up early and we should we should see that the child gets good counseling and we should understand not to unnecessarily pressurize the child to do a particular thing say i have seen people coming to me asking me that whether my daughter will never become a doctor so the mother is hell bent on making her daughter a doctor wherein her doctor want her daughter wants to be in fine arts she wants to be in some music she wants to be in uh, uh, crafts so it doesn't mean that everybody has to become something so if you know that uh, there is a weak mercury you will not simply subject the person to go through rigorous mathematics and put them tuition after tuition and make them forcibly go into mathematics you will not do that you will understand that the calculation strength of calculation is v so you will tell that okay it's okay we understand that uh, there is a difficulty in uh, understanding mathematics and so let us give an option like going into arts going into subjects uh, other than you know history anthropology so many things are there geography these things so what i'm trying to tell here is that as a remedial measure you should know where how to understand and target that person in, to so that the the native that is the child will achieve better so i am just talking about one part of it that is uh, about slow learning so let's go into the other parts when we come to the medical astrology second one bad food habits i have only taken one point here that is annasthana i have not gone into kutumbasthana i have not gone into wealth i am not gone there because they may be spent spent thrift suddenly they can spend many too much of their wealth they can go into wrong investments i have not gone there i have not gone into investments trading simple bad food habits they eat very less frugal eaters they are they are not misers but they are frugal eaters they can't eat much so you have to train them to eat nutritious food so nutritional deficiency is also seen when there is weak mercury placed in the second house in a chart so as a charity give good nutritional food to institutions where there are you know orphanages are there or destitutes are there please give nutritional food you know supplements to them it is a good charity for mercury as a remedial measure take them to take your child or take your spouse or take you you yourself can go to a dietitian or a nutritional specialist sit there discuss and understand the real requirement of your child you know not as astrologically because they will not understand astrology but you can tell what is your requirement as per your daily routine how much uh, of calories and what sort of food is required they will give you a beautiful chart which you can follow and as a remedial measure this is very important if people are having a weak mercury in the second house so that also we is in related to the fifth house because fifth house is digestion i have not taken up there i have taken something else which is important speech difficulties in the third house third house is the house of communication so communication problems you know they would they will have slurry speech they will have stammerings 
they will stutter they will the flow of thought will be very bad so that also happens and there might be thyroid complications that uh, you know the thyroid hormone which is the second master gland of our body after the pituitary so the thyroid complications might arise which is also difficult to understand from from uh, directly uh, for a few months and only after a particular symptomatic uh, you know symptoms are seen only then people will go and get themselves tested for thyroid so what i am trying to uh, trying to tell here is thyroid complications can be seen from a child where mercury is very badly afflicted in the third house so if you are having symptoms which are related to uh, sleep disorders which are related to food habit disorders which are related to um, vocal sound modulation that's that sound it becomes very coarse you know a very rough voice when uh, the people go through myxedema or hypothyroidism and even the skin becomes very dry because mercury represents the vitamin e that is the oil compound of the in the skin and when it becomes weak in the third house we uh, you know the dry skin starts and uh, that's also one of the symptoms of thyroid uh, hypothyroidism so even even hyperthyroidism can also happen depending on which planet is afflicting mercury so speech difficulties you can do charity to all those institutions where they give speech therapies you can uh, give communication classes you can actually uh, aid students for communication classes where you know there are many people children who are not able to speak properly and you can do that as a, a charity as a remedial measure please attend these uh, speech uh, you know therapy classes and communication classes yourself which is very important for people who are having third house afflicted mercury and also people with afflicted mercury in the third house they do not have a um, they don't understand when they when they become hyper they talk things which are not required and then they you know you cannot pull that back once you do the mistake you know nowadays uh, in this modern world of uh, uh, twitters uh, you know the modern world of uh, uh, facebooks instagrams people you know tell something get caught in that particular scandal and then they they you know def they the whole life gets defamed because of their stupid slurry talk that's every day on news today so that's because of a badly posited mercury in the third house or a third lord getting badly posited but this is today we are talking about mercury so fourth house frequent displacements i have taken fourth house for residents and also health problems because mercury represents the chakra the heart chakra so when the health problems when mercury is there then it gives palpitations anxiety you know sleeplessness which is also insomnia i have given it here in the 12th house where it mercury is placed you know sleep disorders are there then related to lungs and breathing complications because it is also the chest also has the lungs there which gives difficulties so uh, frequent displacement people you know homelessness so please do charity to the homeless people if you are having a weak uh, mercury in the fourth house it might give some solace it might give some peace of mind so if mercury is badly positioned in the fourth house do not unnecessarily change houses try to stay in one place peacefully because impatience only does this it does, it is not because you have to change but anyway uh, it's a very difficult thing to say because sometimes uh, you know the situation arises that you will have to possibly change so it's a very difficult uh, you know remedy to you know remedial measures are very difficult to be given here but let me go to the fifth one here you can do it infertility problems impotency because it is a nakumsaka graha that is a unit planet so infertility problems and impotency gives rise uh, it get, it comes to uh, play when mercury is afflicted in the fifth house other problems you know premature problems you know what i am talking about uh, you know the people cannot achieve a normalcy in physical intimacy which gives a lot of problems in having progeny and also the last point which is the most important point education buddhi buddha 
education and the fifth house they are synonymous you need to have a good buddha in the fifth house to have beautiful education they will be very bright but if there is an afflicted buddha that is mercury in the fifth house education gets spoiled that means it gets broken and after a lot number of years they will be earning to study they want to finish something but it gets broken because of some situation so if you are if, if charity has to be done you will have to do it for these people who are going through infertility problems and impotency problems how you do it you have to find out the ways and means to do it it's very difficult for me to give a good guidance here but still impotency people have to give good psychological <coughs> you know counseling to them because impotency is such a taboo in the society that people don't talk about it and when natives who have that they suffer a lot and because it gives inferiority complex and inferiority complex is another big headache uh, to be handled it's a tough thing to be handled so as a remedial measure the best thing is psychological counseling psychological counseling this is very very important when mercury is badly posited in the 5th house and in the 12th house i'll come to it later because we also go through depression here insanity oh my god that's a very dangerous thing to happen but let us come step by step now 6th house phobia 6th house is the house where you show your parakrama 3rd house is physical strength and 6th house is mental strength where you also use your physical strength you know it is where you can vanquish your enemies that is what is called shatru shatru uh, hatya or nirnama that is we we uh, vanquishing enemies that is the sixth house but if mercury a very soft mild planet a timid planet gets afflicted in the sixth house these people have a lot of phobia fear you know uh, fear psychosis they they fear from um, because you know of situations they fear height there are many different type of phobias they get bullied when you know in every in every area you know harassment keeps happening and there are many silent people who keep going through harassment continuously and they get bullied so you should have societies who are actually helping here as for charity actually remedial measure is very important here that people who are unnecessarily getting harassed in offices you know in uh, houses even even every place every place people keep you know showing their uh, unnecessarily uh, unnecessary dominance over the other and they try to snub the person so that thing bullying is a very bad, bad thing uh, particularly college raggings and all these things come out of this particular thing and we need to have a good strict uh, mentoring and policing and also strict rules which has to be done so that the society will not be you know they should not they should not tolerate these types of harassments this is very tough actually it's happening so loans people go through loans and they are not able to repay it they make loans because they uh, have a lot of uh, spending uh, you know they are spent thrift when they are having a weak uh, mercury in the 6th house so they take a lot of loans and they are not having the strength to repay it so weak constitution because of the nervous debility so here charity can be done for people who are having uh, problems with regard to uh, you know motor nerve uh, disability and other uh, nervous debility like at the problems of the spinal cord or problems of uh, uh, like the sciatica problems like uh, <coughs> discosita uh, many many other medical problems will be there like thrombosis so weak constitution because of nervous debility so <coughs> i have seen people who are having this particular thing you know they can't even hold a glass they can't grip it because they don't have that uh, motor nerves which actually give the signal so that they don't know whether they are holding the glass sometimes they break it or sometimes they don't hold it at all it falls away so that particular problem is there it's a very uh, very rare situation but yes it is there 
now seen across the world everywhere globally it's a problem so nervous debility has to be handled so tendencies okay the seventh house the house of relationship i have taken only relationship here tendencies towards same gender relationship you know it might it's not a nowadays people have understood this that everybody is not the same it's not that always opposite genders should attract that's uh, a different signs you know in physics what you tell in magnets opposite poles attract nothing like that here human being so it, it doesn't mean uh, that uh, you know there are many uh, uh, rights which lgbt rights have they have achieved so please people should understand that this thing in the society will stay and it has to stay because that there is nothing wrong with the native the native is fine the society doesn't know how to handle it so the society is wrong the people who have a perception that um, you know uh, same gender relationships are wrong they are wrong actually these people are fine they 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 don't know uh, why it's happening but they are they are very normal it's very normal to them getting attracted if a boy gets attracted to another man it's it's a very normal thing so please try to understand these people uh, giving psychological counseling again you know social understanding if you understand them that's enough that's a very big charity you know you bring them into the society bring them into the fold of your family please do not alienate them that itself a big charity for these people so people who are having a weak mercury particularly in the seventh house might have these types of tendencies and it's a it's a normal tendency we should understand that that's it so bad in business transactions this is a very important thing so people you know suddenly make loans and then put it in business they lose the money there and then they are like they owe money here and there both ends they get stuck so that's a very tough thing for an afflicted mercury in the seventh house so when mercury is afflicted in the seventh house please do not do business so uh, remedial measure is not required please very clearly i'm telling please keep away from doing unnecessary business transactions so or financial transactions you know monetary transactions you know taking money you know from somebody and then giving it to your friend or somebody telling that that okay i am the guarantor so you get stuck there you will be paying the money and that guy will have taken the money and run away so these things many people have got uh, stuck in that particular thing number 8 that is the eighth house these are all houses where mercury gets uh, either weak or uh, gets into affliction substance abuse drug addiction and other substance abuses it's not that only drug addiction is a substance abuse many other substance abuses are there so this happens and people who have gone through this if they are recovering a charity can be done to those institutions where actually these people are recovering from so this is a very dangerous thing once again in the society you know many innocents get you know uh, get into this particular problem of substance abuse we as you know responsible citizens we need to see how to reduce this and make our society a safe world other things are there like litigations which happen foul speech you know there is no restraint people talk nonsense that happens when the mind goes to a toss this is the seventh house from the second house and the second house is vaatsthana and seventh house from the second is the eighth house and there people can get into unnecessarily foul speech if mercury is badly positive afflicted bad health you know std problems actually transmitted diseases can happen to people who are having mercury badly positive in the eighth house they can also have problems on the skin like eczema eczema psoriasis and many other vitiligo so but i am not going into so many details but all these can have charity and remedial measures also can be done here that people who have a bad afflicted eighth house mercury please do not get into unnecessary relationships outside your ethical boundaries and also see that you have good immune strength so that you can protect yourself from your from the skin diseases because most of the skin diseases happen because of um, problems like uh, immunodeficiency problems you know 
autoimmunodeficiency uh, you know that's what it aids autoimmunodeficiency syndrome it's called so the hiv is a, a part of it so so eighth house mercury is not such a great position at all normal mercury in eighth house itself is not a great position so mercury afflicted in eighth house a bad position bad parental relationships once again here no charity is required but still bad, bad parental relationships if mercury is debilitated weakly posited in the ninth house if it is afflicted then they do not have a connection at all you know uh, the children will have uh, their individual uh, um, thinking and they will have left their parents so they that that particular thing is a uh, bad thing to happen so foster homes you know lethargy towards job these are different things but foster homes are very important for me to understand so where children you know who are um, of a particular age will require foster home so this is a charity which has to be you know in india it's not that uh, very clearly prevalent but in other countries foster homes are very much prevalent so this if you are able to uh, give charity to these particular institutions the ninth house is taken care of you know a bad position of mercury in the ninth house is taken care of 10th house frequent job changes decision making and joblessness once again so here very clearly it is because of attitudinal problems problems of attitude because they don't know how to react to their boss they don't know how to be a team member so here um, as a remedial measure once again counseling is required and training is required particularly here you know for frequent job changes if it is not to happen if it is good change then it's a fine thing if you are climbing a ladder but if you are falling down without a job you know and uh, you go into bad decision making then it's a difficult thing so it is like we need to train these people as to how to handle jobs so they need uh, training with regard to how to be in a job and how to handle day day in day out normal job you know situations in a job so the 11th house obsessive compulsive disorder that is because when mercury gets afflicted in the 11th house these people have a lot of difficulties you know passion will become obsession obsession is a very very dangerous thing so manipulativeness they try to manipulate to safeguard themselves they try to manipulate to protect their own identity which actually they do not want to reveal because it's a something something else so they will always project a false identity so they want to make easy money you know the attitude of easy money making very dangerous and some people you know they have put an oblique here because it might be when mercury is weak they do not have interest at all in earning or making money so it is like they simply dole away their time so this is a very uh, different situation with uh, 11th house mercury and here once again as a remedial measure if people have if somebody has a 11th house mercury which is very badly posited please try to get into spiritual progress because the 11th house is a very good house for doing meditation and then gaining a, a path you know gaining focus on life so because manipulativeness can only serve your purpose for that day if you are telling a lie you need to remember the lie throughout your life because lies do not get supported by truth so truth doesn't need another truth to support it it can stand alone but a lie will always require another lie another lie another lie you will have a bunch of lies you know and then it's so difficult for you to remember everything and you go mad with regard to this manipulativeness so to come out of being manipulative you need to do meditation you need to go to a mentor a guru who can give you the right path of life so this is the only remedy for a bad placed mercury the 11th house finally the 12th house insomnia lack of interest in worldly matters depression and insanity 
lack of interest in worldly matters if it is coming with a beautiful mercury place there then i will tell great sanyasa yoga or uh, detachment for elevation spiritual elevation through buddhi intellectual spiritual elevation which is the last thing to happen to a person it's a great thing to happen but it's very rare but still here lack of interest is that they do not want to achieve anything they don't want to do anything so if they go into depression and into insanity so you know people who go into insanity is a very dangerous thing so insomnia is one one another thing where we can cause a lot of uh, other problems you know damages many organs in the body also because we sleep deprivation is a very dangerous thing to happen to a person so mercury keeps a person young if the person has a good mercury in the chart but it will give a lot of problems in the chart you know i have spoken too many negatives it's of it actually affecting me now so much of negative i need to flush it off by meditation so all these negatives can be resolved by either doing good charity and also going through scientific remedies for particularly for insomnia physical work has to be introduced into people who are into insomnia they will get sleep you know if you if you walk for a mile and then come back you know if you are able to do it because if you don't have a medical condition which will actually prohibit you from walking that's a different thing but if your medical condition is good and if you are able to walk then walk for a mile or two come back and have a bath you know warm bath and go to sleep you will start getting a little bit of sleep you can train yourself to sleep so that is a fantastic remedial measure for insomnia lack of interest in worldly matters get involved with groups and people it's not that always money has to be made so get involved with group and people and start becoming lively so unnecessarily getting into depression is a very dangerous thing once again so activity is very important so put those people into activity you know like going for a bird watching going for a trek going for some uh, you know listening to music going to a concert some activity so without activity mercury is like an you know idle mind is a devil's workshop so mercury is like that so we need to control mercury to make a person focus because mercury you know what is mercury you know it keeps it doesn't stay in a place put up for you know drop of mercury on a uh, thin sheet of metal and see how it uh, you know you cannot keep it in one place just shake it it will just spin around so that's the quality of a person who has a you know weak mercury and even a strong mercury they keep jumping around so if there are slow moving planets controlling the lagna or uh, with mercury then people will have a lot of knowledge controlled focused and stable so if there is a fast moving afflicted uh, planet along with mercury then these people lose focus so they need the support so thank you very much for today's class it was a uh, huge uh, subject but uh, i have only you know scratched the surface so thank you very much